So you want to be an herbalist, but you don't know where to start? Let's make some tea. I'm Sarah from Air's Hand Botanicals, and I started studying herbalism. I didn't realize I was doing it, but years ago, um, just working with tea. Stomach didn't feel good. Let's try some tea. Having a hard time falling asleep at night? Let's look for some tea. And you want to find the best ingredients you possibly can, right? The grocery store is your friend here. You can find all kinds of tea. You know, tea bags. We're used to those at the grocery store. Um, two of my favorite herbs to work with in tea, chamomile and ginger. Dollars to donuts, you can find some chamomile tea in the grocery store. Maybe not chamomile and ginger blend, but we can do it at home. Uh, you can always buy fresh ginger, the rhizome, right? You've, you've seen ginger in the store. Um, or you could find dehydrated ginger, right? I'm almost out, so I just picked up another pound of ginger for under 20 bucks, right? When you make tea, start with the best ingredients you can find. Uh, organic, if we can, right? Um, but it's not one of those deals, like, if you can't find free-range, organic, grass-fed ginger that was harvested by virgins under a blood moon, store-bought is fine. Well, yeah, actually, store-bought is fine. It's totally cool. Whatever you can find that's accessible for you, we're going to use that for tea. Today, I am choosing, I do have some bulk chamomile, right? Yummy. We love chamomile. Chamomile, we just work with um, the flower buds dehydrated or fresh if you have them, and then ginger, like we talked about, right? Chamomile can be very calming and it just tastes like sunshine. Ginger can be warming. It promotes circulation. Um, it can be a very belly friendly if you have digestive issues. Um, this is a fantastic tea any time of day, but really after a meal, after you get home from work, like I just did, and you just need to chill. So how are we gonna make this tea? Uh, let's go simple, shall we? Here we have the humble mason jar, which is an herbalist's best friend. Uh, we may, we may be, uh, jar goblins. We never let a good jar go to waste. And here I just have, um, a jar that, um, I've put two tea bags in because it's, it's a 32 ounce jar. So I want some more herb material. I didn't overpack my tea bags. If you're buying tea from the store, they're usually um, smaller quantities in those tea bags, so throw two or three in, no problem. Um, so here, I've let this sit for about five minutes. With chamomile, it can be a little bitter if you steep it longer, um, and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you're looking for. Today, I just want a delicious tea, just something to chill, sit on the couch, snuggle my kitties, and have something to sip on after work as I unwind. If you do want to let it steep a little longer, it does get a little bitter. Bitter's not bad. It just means more of the, the pain-relieving constituents become more available in the tea um, from that chamomile, right? And ginger is a hearty root, so you can steep that for a while, no problem. All right, so let's pour ourselves a cup of tea. All right, I've got my beautiful cup of tea. It's a really pretty light sort of straw yellow color in a very classy... Um, glass mug that came with an Irish cream gift set from Christmas like three years ago or something. Let's give her a taste. Oh, it just smells so just sweet and inviting. It's lovely. It's just delicate. You get a little bit of that warmth from the ginger. It's, I'll be sipping on this um, this evening. I'll have no problem going through that quart of tea tonight. Um, don't let herbalism, there's so much information out there, don't let it overwhelm you. You can start with just a cup of tea. So stick around. We're going to make a lot of tea together and we'll, we'll spill some tea too. I've got the ends for you. So come back, check out the rest of the channel and we'll drink some tea.